In Lab 1, we will create an Azure Machine Learning workspace. Here are the steps to Lab 1. And now we are in the Azure portal. We are going to create a machine learning instance. We click on the Create button and then we give the workspace a unique name. We can create a new resource group. And we can choose our location. We will choose North Central US. We will also select Enterprise. When we select the Create button, we will be able to create our machine learning workspace. We can check that all of the details are correct. This is an essential step in setting up machine learning services. We can see the deployment is currently in progress. Now the deployment is complete. Next, we will review the Azure Machine Learning Studio Workplace. We can access it through the large blue button in the centre. Or we can log in at ml.azure.com. And here's the studio. So let's start the tour. We can see the authoring and assets panels on the left hand side. This is the location where we manage the models as well as create experiments. We can have different workspaces dependent on our work that we are doing with teams or for different customers. We can provide feedback directly from machine learning workspace here. Now we will create compute resources. We need to do this in order to run our experiments. So we need to give the compute a name. We also need to select a virtual machine. Now we can create a training cluster. Again, it needs a unique compute name. As per the lab instructions, we will call it AML cluster. Then we will select the correct virtual machine name. Now we will set up the training cluster as well. The compute instance and the training cluster are in progress of being created. We can also check the inference clusters here and we can also add in additional compute if we require. The final step is to create data resources. We can see the settings. These are default data stores which are set up when we set up the Azure Machine Learning Workspace. 
on the left hand side we can see our data sets as well. We are going to create a data set as per the instructions. So we will use the diabetes data which is stored in GitHub. We can access it through a URL. When we click on the next button, we will have the opportunity to preview the data. We can also change settings such as CSV. And here's the file here. This is what the diabetes data actually looks like. If we look at the top four rows, we can see that there are 0, 8, 7 and 9 pregnancies. When we look at the age for the first three rows, we can see the fourth row is 43. Then we can click next and we can change these settings if required. We can see the column names and the type. We can also see some sample data as well. Now when we click next, we can review the settings and now we are ingesting the data. This will be stored as part of the data store, which was set up when the Azure ML workspace was created. Now we can review the data set. And here is the data set here. We can review the data types, for example. And that's all for Lab 1A, setting up the Azure Machine Learning Workspace. Thank you for tuning in.